Yeah. A little different. <laughs> what was uh, this this practice like? What did you uh, accomplish in this practice? Uh, well, they've lifted and ran this week, uh, but to get back out and kind of work on fundamentals, ball skills, you know, things like that, just to get back in the swing of offense and defensive schemes, and you know, try to stay sharp fundamentally. How big is it for the coaching staff to get, you know, a month full of extra practices? Something you guys, I guess, you didn't get last year. Yeah, no, it's it's great. It's a it's a it's nice to be able to uh, get some of the young guys back into the flow. Um, you know, like some of those guys got a lot of turns a day, and they'll get some throughout uh, the next probably three to four practices, and then you know we'll start focusing on game planning from there. But uh, it's it's an added it's an added time, almost like an extra spring ball where you can get those guys going a little bit back into the back into the schemes. And, and uh, based on the experience with other bowl games you've been in, how much does that help for the next season for the carryover for the? Next season, is that a benefit know. at all? Is it benefit the team to to play in a bowl game in one seat, you know, end of the season, and then next season, or, or not? There's no. Well, I, I think it's hard to judge it. They're so far apart. Okay. Yeah. But you know, it kind of helps us see where people are, and yeah. and uh, just kind of rekindle the, the flame of, of what camp was like for some of the young guys and how they've matured over the season. And, you know, so but you know, as far as the next season's concerned, there, there's still a lot going on between yeah. now and next season. How's Calvin doing? He's doing fine. Is he about ready to, to get back into so. things like yeah. the next day or two? Mm -hmm, I think so. What Any do you think? Thoughts? Of, okay. um, speculation is that uh, you might be in the Holiday Bowl against Texas. And were that to be the case, uh, your thoughts? Well, it's speculation. Yeah. So the, the thoughts about that are, you know, it'd be great to be in any bowl. You know, what I've heard is Alamo Holiday Sun, you know, and, and any one of those bowls, they all do a great job of putting on a first class event. And, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll be honored to, to be in any of them, and I'm sure there'll be quality opponents, whoever it is. And, uh, you know, so it's a great opportunity for our team to play one more game. It was the San Diego weather here today. It was almost like spring ball. It was. Yeah, it was a nice day. He's getting since the guys are a little eager to get back out there. There's a little extra pop that since they haven't, uh, haven't been. It seems like a we've lot. been gone for a long time. You know, I was thinking it feels like we've been off a month. It's been a week. You know, it so, happens when you spend nights in the office. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I keep waking up in the middle of the night thinking about the game plan, and and I think, well, there's nobody to play this week. You know, it's hard to hard to switch gears. You know, so it's uh, you know, I get a little anxious waking up. You know, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know, and. We're not doing anything. There's no play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's you know that's a little odd, but um, but you know right now it's about focusing on academics, trying to stay trying to stay sharp, uh, trying to stay in good shape, get guys healthy. Um, you know that's a big deal, and uh, and then continue our you know with our fundamentals and techniques and things like that. But really a lot of focus on academics right now, finishing strong that way. How are Wilkerson and McCain coming along? Pretty well, pretty well. I think they'll be, you know, I think. They'll probably be ready for the game. The game's a long way away, so I would guess that you know if they'd be ready to go by then. Any thoughts on the Pac-12 title game? Be interesting, you know, to to watch. You know, it, uh, obviously Oregon's a very good team, and and you know playing at their place, as we know, is a very hostile environment. But you know, when things happen to teams like what UCLA's gone through this last week, you know, as I've said before, it really kind of serves as a rallying cry, you know, so I know that, uh, you know, Oregon will get UCLA's best shot. What do you think about having, uh, you mentioned there'll be four new coaches in the conference uh, next season. Your thoughts on well, that? It's, you know, it, yeah, it's a little different, you know, because typically there's a history that you have with each team, and, mm -hmm. and so there's going to be, you know, four new, four new uh, teams that you have to, you know, understand what they're doing schematically, and with the brain and you know I know I know two of them really well Mike Leach and Rich Rodriguez I know really well and so um, you know we have a little history with with Leach obviously when we played yeah. them in the bowl game and, and that's where I know him from and we've stayed in contact over the years so you know two quality coaches coming to the conference. Mm -hmm. Coach you have a USA Today vote is that correct in the coaches poll? Any thoughts on the you know, the same conference, possibly having the top two spots? Well, you know, you, you pick the teams that deserve it, you know, and they've had
had great seasons, you know, uh, given that LSU will, you know, hold their ground against Georgia, then, you know, I don't see how, you know, you could, you could not have Alabama there and, you know, you're probably going to get a rematch, I'm guessing. Is Trelon Griggs uh, back in the land of living, as it were? He's practicing. He has been. He has been over the last couple of weeks. Do you have a schedule for next week out yet, or that that'll still be to come? 